Welcome back <laughs> to whatever this is. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome to our nightmare. <laughs> Rather, it's your nightmare. It's our, <laughs> it's our take a, All right, intro. I should throw this out there. We're going to kill 10 minutes out of your day if you watch us. <laughs> You're never getting it back. But anyways, let's see, Corn. What should we bore our fucking... <laughs> Our, our viewers with. Uh, I don't know. Man. What, was, what were we talking about? <laughs> you know, I can just imagine this, our show reaching, because believe it or not, we want to take this on the road. I mean, or, or the perpetual internet realm on like, our, what was that thing with that station? We, we were hypothetically, hypothetically talking about if our show got picked up. What are you talking about? Being on... Um, that, that satellite radio station, uh, like a Howard Stern, um, yeah, or XM or Siri, Sirius and stuff. It's like all that. such old technology, man. It's, I can't believe people are still paying subscriptions for that shit. No, I'm mean, just saying in the car because yeah, you know. don't really have to watch the fishing corn no, show. You, you can just listen to. The you story. can just listen to it, and um, unfortunately, I think radio talk radio in and of itself is kind of a dead medium because it's kind of dominated by. Uh, loud uh, right wing crazies and preacher types. But if you know those people that still we got to commute, this is the time the fish and corn show would probably make a big hit. Is during the the right to work, you're sitting there. Let's be honest let's. with ourselves. The people that are watching this show don't have regular jobs. <laughs> you don't know, corn. <laughs> no, they're, they're they're probably you know. It uh, might be silicon's because uh, remember our most videos, believe it or not come from the tech sector, dude. Yeah, but... You did, so they could be... 22 of these... of our followers could be actually... Might, like, have, might be uh, gainfully employed? Yeah, because I think I most think of these of, things came when they... during the UAV reviews. I think a lot of our viewers are on disability. But here's the <laughs> or thing. Or unemployment. What about... We picked up these viewers uh -huh. during the whole drone... When we did a little bit of drone stuff, yeah, that's when we picked up. But that doesn't mean our, anything. Our that does not mean a goddamn thing. It just means you. you well, yeah, no one's watching. No one's watching. <laughs> doesn't matter. I see it. I'm, you know, big brother out there. Big fish. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> big fish. The Leviathan. <laughs> the Leviathan. <laughs> I'll call you that from now on. <laughs> the thunder from down under. <laughs> Isn't that a fucking male review or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a male stripper act. God. Whatever happened to fucking... Chippendales. Chippendales. And then... Oh, it reminds me. Does anybody seen Showgirls? It was the death of that guy who did Basic Instinct. The writer for... Something... Burhuis or... The writer oh. for... Paul... Wait. Is it? No. You know the fat-ass writer who did Basic Instinct? Basically, it was a calamity, that movie. Yeah, that's yeah. Sure, but it's the one. If Paul it's Esther the, House. Paul Esther House. That's what it is. Fucking the one-liners from all those people. You know that that is a, an atrocity of a movie. I have to. If it's at the cheetah, honey, <laughs> it ain't dancing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean. The worst part is that whenever I see it on TV, I'll, I'll actually <laughs> stop and watch it. Yeah, it's 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 an absurdly stupid movie yeah and that poor girl that was the the lead what, uh, what was her name uh beverly uh, uh the, the beautiful tall uh, uh they on the say by the bell yeah yeah well what the hell is her name uh, oh i feel sorry for her because that was pretty much that that was the, ape, the 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 end of her career that was the i think everybody involved i think the, the powers to be you know like the academy is like these black room types Throwing a marble for a vote. <laughs> we don't like Elizabeth Berkeley. Yeah, let's let's blackball her. <laughs> Basically, because it wrote that guy's career. I think he came back with one stupid movie. Well, let's be honest though. Paul Esther House was overrated anyway. But he didn't have that was the, the, that was a nail in the coffin. Yeah, it was the perpetual nail in the coffin. Yeah, that that was the end of that. Because it's like you I know mean, who, you know who I'm surprised is still making movies. Zack Snyder. I don't understand how people are still writing him checks. Uh, known for what? Um, well, let's see. He did. Uh, he did three hundred. He did. There's a new three hundred coming up. Oh God, really? Yeah. Uh, he did that remake of uh, 
Dawn of the Living Dead. Oh, okay. And he uh, did uh, his latest one. It's that one, uh, Superman vs. Batman or Batman vs. Oh, Superman. He's the, cause he's the director. You got to almost... Someone owes him, but on the trailers, it's always from the director of 300, from yeah. the director of... It's like, well, you got to make a name drop. I'm sorry, but to me, 300 was just softcore gay porn. Uh, there was nothing all that interesting or enthralling about the movie. It was mostly, you know, white power nonsense. Mm -hmm. Notice how all the darkies were <laughs> the, bad the bad guys. guys. And they were getting slaughtered ad nauseum. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. I'm so sick of watching movies where all the bad guys are darkies. Dude, it is, we were talking earlier about this. And um, there are plenty of bad guy yeah. white people out there. <laughs> yeah. It's sad. There's plenty of bad guy white girls out there. Why why don't why can't we have a movie with a good looking white girl you're villain? Speaking about the G, like anything religious or Jesus or Nazareth. Remember in the seventies when they were kicking all that kind of older, colorized uh, biblical stories? And who were the oh. who plays Moses? Mm -hmm. Who plays Jesus? Someone with the British accent, you know? <laughs> I was wondering about that too. Yeah, from the Mean Streets of Manchester. <laughs> but he's Jesus. Yeah, I know. Let's go, Vuv Clico. I'm Jesus. <laughs> You're still on that. Huh? You know, that's what it was. It's like, it, yeah. is, it is kind of a bougie yeah. thing, though. I mean, uh, the, the problem is <laughs> we've grown up in Southern California. You know, I, I wish we could, we had a liquor thing. And, like, you know, we have the the fish and corn and wine. And, and then on our advertising, we have Jesus was like, Jesus would made Vuv Clico or something. <laughs> or made, have made, or drank our <laughs> this, shit. This is what they served at that dinner. Yeah. At that wedding party, right? I mean, if we made it big, I wonder if we get hype or, you know, what you get smack. A wedding in, in Canaan? Or? Where he made the barrel, no, the, the water into no, wine. No, wine yeah. You just eyeballed some cutie over there. No. <laughs> he wants to do <laughs> boons. a trick for her. Jesus made boons. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this shit. <laughs> but, uh, oh. Sweet geez. berry wine. Oh, what was that one? Strawberry Hill was the, the Strawberry Hill. One. Strawberry Hill. They had also like a Chardonnay looking one. What was oh, the Strawberry Hill? There was some berry thing. It was all nasty, dude. People liked it, though. Yeah, I know, but it's nasty shit, man. It's like people liked Four Loco, too, and that's garbage. Mm. Around here, people like Buchanan's and Monster. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's because it's a little, you know, Mexican youngling thing. I would, yeah, with the I, cars. I, and I, I wouldn't touch that Buchanan's and Monster for shit. Although, I did have, um, I did have a whiskey and Monster a while back at, uh, at uh, the Redhead's place, Mr. Liquor. And they were mixing the first that? Time, that was the first time I'd actually had Monster in anything. And Monster it tasted and... like a candy like a green apple candy you like it i don't like well, no no no, no. i, I like was monster. just surprised by the way that it mixed with the liquor that in the end in your mouth it tasted like uh, a, a green jolly rancher you know that, that was the mouth feel and the flavor coming out Ugh. but you're getting shit faced at the same time oh my goodness yeah it's definitely something you get high school kids don't do. it's that's not it's not something you sit there and you know uh enjoy the flavor of speaking of which I'm a cocktail snob. I, I don't... Not a snob. No, you drink whatever you want. But I just am surprised that people... I think they just haven't tried different cocktails. The ones that gravitate to vodka and Red Bull. That's nasty. It's nasty. So people, they're, not, they're just... You know, I have friends that drink that drink. Sorry about those people, but it's like there's so many other drinks that's just almost just getting hey i'm gonna order a drink and of course maybe that's but i i think it's got more to do with their identity as party people it's for the same reason that a certain set of people will only drink buchanan's mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying or a certain set of people will only drink uh coors light you know, only we're talking it's a way of identifying your in-group as opposed to the out-group and yes. so on 
I, you know. I'll drink anything. Yeah, I'm a degenerate. I'll drink whatever. I mean, I talk shit about these cocktails, but fish will drink gin if have to. We yeah. talk shit about gin on the show. I'll, I'll drink it if there's nothing else. Yeah. Gin? <laughs> fucking toilet bowl mix? Fucking liquor? Bruno! Yeah. We should actually make some for the show. Bruno? You want to make Bruno? Bruno? Yeah, but then, hey, have you started the seeds yet of those the, the corns project here? Because we... Upstairs. Really? No it's shit. Most, uh, Any sproutings? Okay. I like the sound mm. of this thing. And we'll auction off. We'll auction it off here at the <laughs> show. We actually get a melon out of it. We'll, we'll make a square, dude. Yeah, I heard there's like the uh, the Japanese are putting fruits in now, like molds of Buddha. You can buy those. They're putting oranges in there, and shit. That's kind of neat. You know, in the shape of Buddha, and it has like a little yeah, thing, and it yeah, locks yeah. on it. <laughs> I gotta do that. Those Japanese, dude. But anyways, we're at the 10, 11 minute mark. Oh my God, we're way over time. Yeah, and then it's going to take us a while to say our goodbyes. This is, you know, this is like the Liberace show, you know. Like, we should come out of our capes to say goodbye <laughs> and sing that song. <laughs> All in my... Or something. Yeah, but All the runs up the piano. <laughs> we, need, we need a piano. Oh, I crazy. Got, I got a, 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 um, a keyboard somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, let's start this minute and a half farewell to our viewers. We're, we're going to be right back in another episode. But R.E.T. Pang and Pang. Pang and Pang Skate Magazine. And, uh, and um, that's it, man. And to all you box turtles out there. Keep, keep munching, the, man. Yeah, keep munching. Keep munching. Make <laughs> it sore. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> to Monica. Lewinsky as well. Hope you watch our video. <laughs> that's, uh, that's probably, uh, we'll talk, yeah, we should talk about her. Yeah. And we get airplay.